What's wrong with you? You got gas? You know what? Uh, my EDC kind of hurts sometimes. I may need something smaller. 500 Magnum. Nice. Well, I stick with the old Glock 19. Carry that 365 7-Eleven. Nice choice. What do you carry? Do what now? Like, what do you carry for protection? Oh, I got you. Ah, mm. oh. oh, dude, how do you fit all that in your pants? Hate pulling this one out. No wonder you were always walking so funny. What's up everybody? My name is Scott, you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and I'm a little bit sweaty. And today we're gonna have some more fun with pocket pistols. This is gonna be the third video in our series of how lethal are pocket pistols. And I promise today, I'm not gonna say the word pocket pistol a million times. I'm gonna try to come up with some other terms. So anyways, today I have a variety of tiny firearms that fit down in the slits in your pants, and we're gonna test them out against a Ballistic Dummy Labs zombie torso. This has lifelike bones, flesh, organs, and has green blood. I am very excited to try these things out, but before we get started, if you enjoy this content and you don't wanna miss out on future videos, be sure and hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell for notifications. So our first trouser gun is going to be a North American Arms 22 short. This thing is extremely tiny. I mean, look at that in my hand. That's what Hickok 45 looks like when he holds a normal revolver. It fires this little guy, a 22 short, that is a 27 grain bullet. So to load this thing, there's just this little button right here. You push that, this whole rod pulls out, cock that back just a tad, and the whole cylinder comes out. Okay, first shot of the day. Oh! Ow! Oh, I forgot to put in my ear protection. Also, she not be kicking. Looks like we hit right here. Oh dear, look at that. Just right there. Oh wow, okay. This went way further than I expected it to. The bullet is right there. Looks like we managed to scoot through all those ribs and it stopped right there. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. I guess sometimes big things do come in little packages. So up next, I actually have two pocket rockets. These are life cards and they are chambered in 22 long rifle. These are actually really interesting. It's very thin and it's just a, Tiny little rectangle, but if you hit this little button right here, it opens up. You can see there's a trigger, and you hit this little button, and that's how you load your barrel. Then all you have to do is just pull this back, and you're ready to go. It also has this little compartment back here, and that's for storage. You can keep extra rounds right there. I'll be loaded up with a 40 grain 22 long rifle. Well, actually, two of them. We're going to fire both these at the same time. I mean, that is why you have two pockets, right? <laughs> so I think I managed to hit almost in the same spot with both of those. I've got two holes right here. But right there's a bullet. I guess maybe I hit that bone and it bounced up. And then that one, it did not make it all the way through. Looks like it stopped right there on his neck bones. I don't know if you know this, but it's the month of May. And you know what that means? It's the 511 day sale and it's going on right now all the way until May 14th and you can get 20% off the entire website 
and in-store purchases. 5.11 has all kinds of awesome stuff. They've got cool graphics, tees, they've got plate carriers, backpacks, shoes, rain gear, basically anything you can think of. But my favorite thing that 5.11 makes is their tactical pants. They are my absolute favorite. I've been wearing them for over a decade. Well, not just this one pair. I've got lots of different pairs, but I love them because they are functional, they are durable, and they are comfortable. So if you want to check out some 511 tactical pants or any other other awesome tactical gear, be sure and use my link in the description down below. Swing over while this sale is still going on and get 20% off. Now let's get back to it. So our next pocket boomstick is another one made by North American Arms. This one is actually 22 Magnum, folds in half, and has a nifty little clip there on the side. This thing loads the exact same as the other 22 short that we used, but this one takes 22 Magnum. And we will be loaded up with a 40 grain 22 Magnum. All right, here we go. Oh, wow! So it looks like we hit right here and it broke that rib, but I don't know, no. It does not appear that we made it very far after that because that rib broke up a lot of that round. I actually like this one a lot. A lot of these pocket pistols or uh, trouser boom sticks don't have a lot to hang on to. This you have a really good grip on and the fact that it folds, that's nifty. So up next, I have another 22 Magnum. This one is also made by North American Arms and this one is called the Earl, which I don't really understand why it's called Earl. I mean, that's what you put in your car. This time we're gonna swap it up a little bit with the 22 Magnum ammunition. We're gonna use 22 Magnum Pest Shot. This is number 12 shot and that's 52 grains. I'm gonna give him one in the shoulder. Oh! And now I'm gonna give him one in the kisser. have quite the spread here. He's got lots of those little pellets inside him. And then up here on his face, they didn't go very deep, but I still would not want to be hit with that. So the next pocket pea shooter I have is a rather interesting one and one you may have seen on the channel before. This looks like a mag light, but it's actually a firearm chambered in 380 ACP. You have a tiny barrel on the end, you load your round in, and then you pull back this tiny spring-loaded firing pin, and then bang. I don't know how comfortable I would be carrying this in my pocket, but we're gonna try it out anyways. And I'll be loaded up with some Underwood Ammo Extreme Penetrators. Okay, just plop my round down in there, and then you wanna be very careful loading this. That is a tiny little barrel. Okay, here we go. Holy moly, not even lying, she be kicking. Golly, that was a lot of recoil in that little thing. And looks like we did quite a bit of damage. That is a hole if I've ever seen one. Let's see if we almost, we almost made it through the back. There is our bullet right there. Wow. Okay, so that little guy is definitely packing a punch. So the next pant cannon I have is one that made an appearance on the channel rather recently. This is the Palm Pistol, and it's very interesting because this thing was made for people with disabilities or weak hand strength and was marketed as a medical device. It's a pretty cool little gun. To load it, you just push this button right here and that opens up. You load in your 38 Special, then this closes, and to fire it, you have to depress both these safeties, and then you have a red button on either side. Okay, here we go. Oh! So 
So it appears we hit right above our 22 mag, right there, and surprisingly, it went all the way through the zombie torso. Now I just have to find out though, what would happen point blank with the palm pistol? Oh my goodness! Holy cow, and that smells really bad, like burnt gel. That is nuts. Oh. And yeah, we definitely made it all the way through. Wow, okay. Well, the palm pistol just went up in my book. That was pretty awesome. The next pocket gun I have is uh, one that looks a little sketchy. So this is a single shot, nine millimeter, made by Alter Corp. So to load this sketchy little thing, you have to pull the trigger back just slightly. This is a spring-loaded trigger. Pull it back just a little bit, and then it should just come off. Then you load your 9mm in right here, which is kind of hard to do. There we go. Now that goes back on there, and you're ready to rock and roll. Uh, here we go. Just pull that back and uh, let it rip, I guess. Oh, okay, that is very awkward to shoot. You know, normally with a handgun, you're hanging on with this portion of your hand and you're just pulling the trigger with your pointer finger. But this, you've got to pull this back and then release it and then grip the gun. So it's really weird to shoot. Looks like we hit right there with our nine mil. And there's the round right there. It went through the shoulder blade and we stopped right there. I mean, not bad for the nine mil. I don't know about this thing. The next firearm that I have that fits in the tiny slit of your trousers is made by Heiser. I think that's how you say it. And this is called a PS1. This is chambered in 45 Colt or 410 shotgun shells. And to load it, you just push this forward, pops open, and then you load in your round. We're gonna try out 45 Colt and 410. First up is 410. This is birdshot. Okay. I'm gonna go for the right shoulder, or well, his left. That's a long trigger. Holy cow. <laughs> See if I can get that out of there. Oh, come on. That's all you get. You just get one shot. And that's it. And then you just take it and you just chuck it at him and then run away. Looks like those made it pretty far into the torso. If you look right here, you can see they made it about halfway. Now we're gonna try out 45 Colts. Mm, you know what? We haven't really aimed for the upper portion much, so uh... Oh! Talk about blowing your top. Uh, I hit a little high, but I don't think it really matters. So this next one is not really something you could fit in your pocket. I mean, you could probably make it work, but it's gonna kind of look funny. Anyways, this is a mag light. It functions if you actually have a bulb in it, which mine's busted. And this is chambered in 410 and 45 Colt. So we're gonna take two shots with this flashlight gun and our first round is gonna be triple lot buck. Here we go. Wow, she be kicking. It looks like we hit right there. And then we have a new hole here. And I'm not really sure where else those hit. I do know this though. If you were using something like this, 
you're probably gonna be really close, probably even closer than that. So for our next shot with a 410 slug, I'm gonna get a little closer. Okay. So that definitely was effective. We hit right there, obviously. We got a lot of powder burn, and then it looks like that made it all the way through him. Hey, what are you doing to them bushes? So this next one is truly a pocket bazooka. This is a Bond Arms Cyclops, and this little guy is chambered in 4570, which is normally fired out of a lever action rifle. Needless to say, I absolutely love this thing, but some people say that guns like this have a little too much recoil, which I think is just crazy. You can never have too much recoil. But for science, today we're gonna try out something a little bit different. I'm gonna do two different types of ammunition. One of these is a full power 4570 that is 405 grains, but this one is 410 grains and this is subsonic. So it should be moving slower and technically produce less recoil. So to load this little behemoth, you just push that little lever, this flips up, load your round in, which, oh, that was subsonic. Hold on, we're gonna do the full power first. There it is, and then that just, closes and then you just hang on for dear life here we go oh yeah mm. i love it she be kicking Like we've got a fresh hole right here and a destroyed collarbone and looks like the round kind of tumbled broke that shoulder blade and then came out the back oh and then it also went through the tape see oh well that just fell right out of there didn't it now let's load up the subsonic 4570 and see what that's like here we go to say that if you are not a connoisseur of recoil like myself that the 4570 subsonic rounds actually make that not so bad you'll love it i absolutely hate it and uh it's like we had a good hit and well um i don't think we made it to the back just rather confusing. Have you ever wondered why I always wear cargo pants? Well, that's so that I can have bigger pockets for bigger pistols. This is an APF double barrel 1911. This is called a dueler. And if you watch the channel at all because you're subscribed and have the notifications turned on, like you, you totally do, right? You've probably already seen this. This is chambered in 45 ACP. You have two mags of 45 ACP, seven rounds each for a total of 14 rounds. That's two rounds of 45 ACP at the same time. Your grandpappy would lose his dentures if he saw this. Now that, that right there, that is what I call a pocket pistol.
going to say that was definitely effective. Um, that's the old power of the 45 ACP. Also, this thing doesn't have a front sight. I lost it um, after the uh, first few mags in the first video. So I still need to get a new front sight. But if you're that close, I don't guess it really matters. Lots of hits, lots of exit holes. Actually, right here, whoo, that's hot. That is one of the bullets uh, somehow. I guess it stopped. That's not warm. That's not a 45 ACP. What is that? That may be that 4570. I think it is. I'm pretty sure that's the subsonic 4570 that I could not find. It was lodged in there. That's okay, because I cleared it out. Well, that's gonna be it for this edition of How Lethal Are Pocket Pistols. Let me know what your favorite pocket pistol was in the comment section down below. Pipe. Body. Oh, wow. Is that really? What is inside us? What bone is that? Also be sure and give today's video a like and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to follow me on all social media platforms. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com just in case you wanna pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time. Oh. He peed on me!